Hello friends of Electricery. Uh, today I've got another little interesting thing I quickly want to show you. On the bench today is a little Itachi HA4700 integrated amplifier, obviously made in Japan in the late 70s, early 80s. And uh, um, the magic smoke came out uh, according to the owner. So th there's this thing that's been, been ongoing on, uh, on the forums and all the guys doing restorations and repairs, usually on vintage Sansui equipment, where they report about the acidic glue that d the Japanese audio manufacturers used. And Sansui is, is a very big culprit in terms of acidic glue, where they usually uh, glued large components like capacitors and... Uh, uh, various other comp uh, large components to the boards uh, just before it got solder flowed or uh, worked on. Um, and in this case, this uh, Itachi has got little um, socks around a couple of transistors. There's one there, there's one there, one there. Um, now I can spot just quickly offhand now. So, <clears throat> um, with one resistor over here on this channel, that's clearly taken a bit of strain, I just sat for a moment to just look at what's going on, if I can spot anything else. And I spotted this, that the moment when I pulled off this little sock, off um, that transistor over there, I noticed that it was glued on using that typical telltale brown glue. And what I found underneath that uh, is quite interesting. What has happened? Let me just turn it around like that. But over there, let me just get a bit more light on the subject there. Behind that transistor, let me just bend that out of the way. Now, <clears throat> there you will be able to see that the leg, the one leg of the transistor is, has arced off. Now this can quite possibly be due to some form of electrolysis that happened with the brown glue, uh, causing some form of either, I would say, possible slow electrolysis that ate away the leg to the point where it broke down and this very well then might have caused uh, troubles downstream. Now I need to just revisit the uh, schematic to assess the, the function of this guy and why this resistor over here then suffered a bit of uh, heat damage. I think it's totally fried. And then I just need to take my transistor tester and go through go through all these other transistors. There's um, one of those integrated um, match pair transistors there where the signal comes in. Um, and uh, otherwise this is just a nice and neat uh, push-pull uh, amplifier. And very interesting, we all know that Hitachi made some very decent uh, transistors, especially output transistors. That, that some uh, some very revered output transistors. But this Hitachi uses Fairchild transistors. Um, very very interesting and just regular bipolar junction transistors. So no, no, no none of the famous um, field effect transistors in this model. Uh, the, even the phone stage is quite a a regular affair without any weird stunts being pulled. It can do moving coil and moving magnet via this cable wire switch, but there, that's two op amps and there's some uh, input mirrored pair uh, transistors where the signal comes in. And that's it. Um, this is not even equipped with, um, as far as I can make it, with a, any form of a line stage. It's just all passive there. 
signal comes in here, uh, goes to the input selector section there, volume control, uh, passive tone controls that's un underneath there, and then to the power amplifier system, and uh, then out to the speaker terminals. It's got some form of um, a power supply regulation here that obviously f will be feeding the phone stage, I'm sure, and uh, a pair of dual uh, mains transformers. So this is all quite lovely. And then uh, just one final thing is um, it's got a pair of uh, discrete uh, power level meters that, that's just built up from an array of uh, transistors and resistors and diodes and capacitors. So no fancy integrated packages there. But I'm sure this issue will uh, be one that can be easily rectified. Um, and I'm very sure that that is the ultimate culprit, the, that transistor that suffered damage from um, bad glue. Um, I'm not quite sure what the function would have been uh, shrouding these transistors, but it might be a thermal function where uh, they cocoon the transistor to either keep its temperature stable or to shroud it from excessive temperature from from big transistors like these guys. But then again, if you look at the size of this heatsink, it can fit in my hand. This was not uh, an amplifier circuit that dissipated a lot of thermal energy. Uh, this was uh, probably a, a very, just a very clear class B amplifier. Um, or a low level class AB. So not a lot of heat generated here. Because this thing is rated at uh, an output of 50 watts per channel. Um, and But it consumes a whopping, well, a maximum whopping 430 watts on the mains cord. Interesting.